A month ago, a few people blocked me on social media because I said you needed math to program. As a computer scientist, this made me question a lot of things. Do I really use math to program? When I was little, I thought I was bad at math. Like, really bad. And this was because I used to compare myself to others, and also I kind of missed the point on fractions. When I was in college, I realized that I needed to practice math to become good at it. Kind of like how you practice piano or tennis. So I started doing that. Every day after school, I would solve problems. I would do the ones in the book, the ones from class. I would look up more problems and solve more problems. For five years, I was solving problems on my own. I went from basics to advanced mathematics. And eventually, I started to feel like I was good at math. And this is because when you solve problems on your own, you start to gain confidence and can identify as someone who can solve problems or someone who's good at math. This is all the math I did in college while getting my computer science degree. In fact, I took so many math classes that if I only took one more, I would get a math minor. So I did. Because by then, math was fun. It felt like I was playing tennis and being really good at it. Let's go back to programming. Do you actually need math to program? You know those puzzle type of questions you get on technical interviews like, um, how many poker hands of five cards can be dealt from a standard deck of 52 cards? And how would it differ from 47? And you know how the interviewer expects you to prove if this is something that can be solved or disprove it, um, break it into smaller problems, optimize it, and figure out the time and space complexities. Well, this is all discrete math. Discrete math was my favorite and least favorite subject in school. I had never practiced or trained for this. There were no formulas. It felt like somebody gave me a toolbox and expected me to use the tools in there to prove or disprove theorems. That class was hard. In retrospective, I recognized that I used discrete math every day as a software engineer without even thinking that it is math. The beauty about programming is that it applies math in the real world. When I make a video game, I use calculus for physics, geometry for graphics, and linear algebra for vector and matrix calculations. When I was really into web security, I used tons of probability and number theory for cryptography. Automata, or self-acting machines, my favorite, is basically the theory of computer science and discrete mathematics. So when I do a state machine or think of an abstract machine, it's all math, discrete math. I also use trigonometry when mapping two points on a sphere when I did my geolocation triggered camera. And I, I'm trying to think of everything else. I think uh, I definitely use algebra with Cartesian coordinates when I create a website and do a fancy front end with animations on my CSS style sheets. So to list a few, math plays a major role in creating compilers, operating systems, the fundamental concepts of recursion, artificial intelligence, language theory, graphics, Boolean algebra, database construction, logic sets, functions, what the capabilities and limitations of computers are, calculating the efficiency of an algorithm and prove or disprove if it will work, circuits. It was math that led Alan Turing to shuffle ones and zeros to simulate math and created the theory of computation.
Texas Instruments contacted me to do a sponsor video and as a heavy calculator user, I was thrilled. It looks like it's a bunch of microcontrollers and servos and sensors. I'm gonna start with this. It's called the Innovator Hub and it looks like a microcontroller. Let's check it out. So, the first thing I do, the equivalent of Hello World, but for electronics, let's blink an LED. I love programming your calculator so much. Program. I'm gonna use the LED that's in here and change the color of it. It already has send, set, so I'm gonna use that one to set the color of the LED. So I'm gonna pick color, and I'm going to do pink first. So 110, 250. Enter. It works! Oh, let's do a different color. Let's change it to teal. Now quit. Yes! I wish I had this in school. Do you need math to program? Yes and no. Math is in the core of computer science. However, you don't need a significant knowledge of math to learn how to program. But if you focus on the how-to and not the why, you are training as a technician, not an engineer. There's a big difference between recreating a series of steps to code and actually designing solutions to complex problems. Should you use math to program? Yes. Mathematics is the most powerful problem-solving tools a programmer can learn to think about and represent problems. So, to my fellow programmers, whether you started just now or you've been programming for a while, you've been doing some level of math. Be proud of it, use it, develop it, and show off your mad math skills. Thank you Texas Instruments for sponsoring this video. I can't wait to see what I do with my new calculator and the Innovator Hub.